What's up guys, Ben Spartanix C here bringing you our first game review. Yes, this time we're reviewing Far Cry 4. And you know, we're going to cover multiple things in this video guys. Just a quick overview on story, weapons, vehicles, animals, graphics, gameplay, and more. I'm super excited about this game guys, because I love it. And I'm so great to share my, I'm so, so great, I'm so excited to share my love with you. Part of the reason this game is great is because of its story. Now, the story isn't the main part of the game, but it is an important part of the game, as all stories are. I thoroughly enjoy the story, and I think it's fun, and I think it's great, and I think anybody who argues differently has not played other games, because this story in this game is far superior to many stories. And I'm a little scared to death right now, because that's a rhino. So yeah, story, story is great. Anyone who argues with that is just a mental nut, and they're wrong, and they should know better. And I feel guilty for doing that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. My game review is interrupted. Story is great, and, well, now that we're at it, we should talk about weapons and animals, because they seem to go well in this game. You do have to hunt. And then, that's what all this crafting menu is, you have to find all these different animals, which, you know, you'll have to find five Boral skin to upgrade one of these, which is a pain, because Boral never spawn where they're supposed to spawn, because on the map it shows you where they're supposed to spawn, and it's a load of crap. And then, to fully upgrade them, you have to do the, uh, Key Rat Fashion Week quest, which I just haven't done for the Feast, because there's no point anymore. But then on the map, you know, there's the specific animal locations, like the Bengal Tiger, you know, the Cloud of the Leopard, Asian Rhino... Tapir, Dole, Leopard again. So that's usually well where you'll be finding your animals. Unless they don't spawn in the places they're supposed to. Which, you know, they never really do. But, so much so much wildlife. Wildlife will hunt each other. That's a huge thing. Um, yeah, you'll see wildlife being hunted. You'll hunt wildlife. You'll need wildlife. You'll be killed by wildlife. It's just crazy. It's a great addition to the game. There's lots of unique things that'll try and kill you and things that you don't need to kill that you will kill anyway because you're a heartless human being. And then, you know, you come to weapons and vehicles. The driving in this game is a little weird. It just uses the stick. You don't use anything else. But, you know, there's that. And you have weapons. I have the buzzsaw, which is the best weapon in the game, which will destroy anyone in his path if I don't get killed by him first. There you go. Healing is also weird in this game. It's actual healing. Where you actually have to like pull bullets out of your body. Which, you know, is kind of weird. And then I also have a sniper. Sniper's key. Sniper or a bow. I don't have the gold means a signature weapon. I don't have a gold signature sniper. Because you cannot put suppressors on snipers. Or anything like those things. Because it's just how it comes. Which I don't like. But it's my... That's, I found one flaw, guys. I like sniping in this game, you know. Bows are better, in my opinion, because they're better for up close if you're trying to do outposts secretly. And then, you know, everyone's got to have an RPG. You can usually have a hand cannon equipped, right? Or not a hand cannon, a grenade launcher equipped right there, but, you know, I just have the RPG. And then yeah, the sixer, just because I can, just because I'm OP. And, you know, then you get your throwing knives, your grenades, your molotovs, and your bait, and your bait just directs animals. And you also have syringes. Which, you know, is interesting for the game. I, uh, you know, I just think it's cool. Hey, syringes. Sweet, you know. I have never played Far Cry before. So if all this stuff seems like, hey, you know, this is all Far Cry 3, dude. What are you doing? Yeah, because I've never played Far Cry 3. And so this is all new to me. So I think this is a, and in my opinion, this is a great way to get a fresh new look on a game, on a new console. So I love it. Uh, I kind of want to get a PS3 just to play Far Cry 3, to be honest, because I love this game. But, you know, hey, this game's great. Great weapons. Great wildlife. Wildlife's great. Story is great. You know, Pagan Man, you know, you'll love him. You'll hate him. You'll want to kill him. You'll kill him. And then you'll find out you didn't really kill him. And It's a spoiler, by the way. Not really. I don't know. The world is full of surprises, guys. So many things to do. So many things to find. What else do we have? We, have wep we covered weapons, guys. We covered animals. There's lots of different animals. We covered story, because the story is fantastic. We discovered, uh, 
yeah, pretty much everything. Graphics, guys, graphics, this game is graphically unbelievable. Fabulous, beautiful. Um, just the layout of it, I think, is perfect. I just, this game just looks fantastic. It's just, it blows my mind. It just reminds me so much, honestly, of Animal Kingdom. The, uh, what is it called? Expedition Everest. It really feels like that, which is why I think I'm so excited for this game. Because I like that so much. But yeah, definitely beat the game just so you can get a buzzsaw. Because it's unbelievably OP. But yeah. Not to our trophy guide either. Also, there's some other things to do in the game that people really don't focus on because, you know, it's not really a Ubisoft kind of thing or a Far Cry kind of thing. But there's multiplayer. And if you have a large group of friends, or like a group of six friends, or four friends, multiplayer can be a blast. It really will be. Uh, some interesting parts of it, you know, I won't show it to you just because, you know, I don't really feel like it, to be honest, because it's not great when you're playing alone, but it's decent. Also, you have your own maps, which you can create uh, and play, and there's just one trophy associated with that. That's just pretty easy. And then there's also the arena. What's her name's arena? I don't even remember her name anymore. Uh, way over yonder. Oh, it's by the Galley Homestead. Noor's arena. Noor. That's her name. Yeah, Noor's arena, guys. That one's fun. Where's Arena? Yeah, that's uh, that's really interesting, really weird, really creepily unethical if you think about it. But I don't know. In my opinion, I think the game is cool. I think it's fine. It's an interesting aspect to it, the game. And yeah, that's another uh great part of the game that you guys should go and check out. And you will need to check out because you'll have to do it. I won't. Um, I, I would show it to you, but the only, like, nudity in the game, which is the only reason it's really highly rated M, is, um, at the arena. Not in the arena, but at the arena, and I don't really want to, I don't really want to risk it, I guess. I just want to stay away from it. So, yeah, but, nonetheless, you know, good game, fun game, exciting game, have fun with this game. So, guys, the final verdict for Far Cry 4. A lot of people are going to disagree with me with this, but I give it a 9.5 out of 10. Because it's just, there's no, there literally is no other game on PS4 like this one. No other game. I, if you want to find me one, sure, find me one, but I guarantee you I'm not going to enjoy it as much as I enjoy this one. It's just so much to do, so much to see, so many exciting things, great weapons, great animals glitches all this kind of stuff uh look at there's elephants you can ride it's just there's just so much you guys can do and i just think you guys should all try and play it co-op co-op is unbelievable too that's just oh my god i go on and on guys this is why this game review is so long usually they aren't uh this long but yeah definitely play this game enjoy this game have fun guys so yeah i hope you enjoyed i hope you really enjoy this game like i do Hope you give it a 9 or 9.5. You know, hope you rate it high ratings, guys. Thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the rest of March Mayhem. Thanks, guys. Like, comment, subscribe.